And when you work in television, I remember the late and brilliant Joan Rivers saying to me that absolutely presidents of networks are kings, you know, if they call you come running. But of course, those days have now gone simply because everybody really is a cameraman. Everybody really is an editor. And we all watch varying degrees of programs. None of the big giants, and I've worked for them all from CBS uh, through to NBC, CBS, you name it, and they're all the same in the end. They have these sort of fake presidents at the top of this very expensive network, and then a bunch of people below that are really there just to say, yes, you made the right decision. And it's interesting when you look about the programs that all of these people have signed off, and then suddenly, you know, they've bombed, but it's never their fault, as I've pointed out. It's always the people at the bottom that get fired, and I include myself in that, do you know what I'm saying? It's interesting, though, with this particular story, because this particular lady has come out and basically said working with Meghan Markle was a dream. She was ambitious, uh, wasn't afraid to ask questions and really was dedicated in her work. And you think, wow, who could that possibly be? And then you do a little bit of digging as ever. Let me explain. Good to see you today. You're all right. Not bad, thank you. Yes, not bad at all. A little bit warm now. Yes. And, uh, and the voice is warming up, as you can tell now, you know, with it. Yeah, well, we told you about the hay fever stuff. I know you sound like a gravel pit when you get up first thing in the morning, you know, and I do try that trick at night, a little dot of whiskey. But the thing is, I think it's worn off really by the time you get up. You know what I mean? Yes, I know it's hard, isn't it? We'll have a quick wave. <laughs> you all right? Thank you so much for taking the time out to join me today. Yeah, I always love these things, you know, when you find executives that gush about people. Most executives that I've worked for fire people and then they become loathed, you know, simply because the talent, and I use that term loosely, and I always hated being referred to as that, you know, we're not talent as such, we're individual people that are employed to do a job and that's how I see us. Now Meghan Markle really, you know, was a budding actress, got lucky, a break on Suits, some say all thanks to a very uh, first husband, Trevor Engelson, I believe it's her first husband, who knows, you never know with Meghan, do you? And what's interesting here is, is that of course now the executive that was in charge of that particular remit at that time, Bonnie Hammer, has come out and said what a delight Meghan was and you think right really you know uh, because of course you get conflicting stories if she was such a delight how come all the uh, ex-co-stars didn't really have her number or they're not in the whatsapp group or they really kind of as the kids say today dissed her on the red carpet at the golden globes can't have been that nice can she but then you look a little bit further and you see bonnie is now of an age where she doesn't necessarily need to curtail to of course nbc bosses and i met bonnie she won't remember far too um, shall we say here yeah, lost in thought when we met but what was interesting about Bonnie was this that she was ruthless tough and apparently she liked Megan yes never the twain as they say but what's interesting I find also is that Bonnie has a book out now there's two ways you can go with a book you can either come up salaciously and sort of attack Megan and say she was a nightmare and a dragon never want to work with her again or you can say the opposite and of course you get headlines and hopefully book sales as well one might suggest that many people won't be picking up this book because obviously certain narratives don't want to hear that about Megan you see how this game works but either way Bonnie's trying her very best now that she's relinquished all the power zone of NBC and now is simply a writer flogging a book she'll be tapping up all the talent that she believes of course she created and more importantly she wouldn't mind being interviewed on a one-to-one -one basis like of course Megan did with a recent chat with someone else now will Megan be returning the favor to Bonnie that's the big question and according to a very well-placed source Bonnie's put in a call but so far the phones remain silent it's funny how things turn around isn't it Bonnie Neil Sean in the very heart of London